Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is probably one of like the top 10 questions that I get. What are your favorite lipsticks? I've always ran from doing this video because it just always overwhelmed me. I use so many lipsticks all the time and to narrow that down always made me nervous, but I finally did it today. This is the second video of my series of favorite makeup products. So the first video I did was my favorite foundations. Like I said in that video, if a lipstick or product is not in this video, Video, it does not mean that it's not good. I just really tried to narrow it down to my like the products that I trust the most that's kind of like a go-to holy grail but I trust so many amazing lipsticks all the time so you guys will definitely be hearing about any new lipstick that I like over on my Instagram and over here on makeup tutorials and stuff to come so don't worry about that. These are just like my top favorite lipsticks and hopefully I didn't forget any <laughs> and these aren't in any particular order. I I tried on all the lipsticks that I'm gonna be talking to you guys about in this video and I also tried it on with the lip pencil I would wear with the actual lip color 99% of the time I am wearing a lip pencil it's almost like my security blanket all of these I wouldn't wear without a lip pencil except two of the glosses that I'm gonna talk about in one of the reds but I just wanted to make sure that I said that in this video because the lip pencil is super super important these lipsticks without the lip pencil would be a totally different ball game uh, so that's just kind of a little bit of a disclaimer but yeah so let's just get started so this first lipstick is from Revlon it's the Revlon ultra HD matte lip color and it's in the shade embrace this lip color I actually paired with Mac chestnut and it's like a pinky nude I really like the formula of these matte lip colors from Revlon it's more of like a thinner formula and it dries matte sometimes you do have to dab it off with a napkin to really take it all the way down to the matteness of it but I really really love these I use this lip color all the time it's kind of like one of my go-to's because I have three in this same formula it kind of just depends on whatever eye look that I'm doing this next one is also from Revlon in the ultra HD matte lip color collection and this one is in the shade seduction and I paired that one as well with Mac chestnut okay in the grand scheme of things they look very similar okay the only difference is this one still gives you that pink pink nude but it's more towards the brown spectrum than the previous one so again all depends on what eye look I'm wearing if I'm wearing something a little bit more in the brown family I would probably go with more of this one if I was choosing between these two lip colors I do have a third favorite lip color from this same line it's in the shade forever and I was looking for like 25 minutes for that lipstick I looked in my drawer I looked in old purses I cannot find it but I will pop up a picture of it on the screen it's in the same family to be honest of the other shades a little bit more in the browner family than seduction which was the one I previously talked about but yeah so really like that one as well this next nude combo is actually the combo that I'm wearing right now it is the dose of colors knock on wood liquid lipstick paired with the KKW lip liner in the shade nude 3 mixing these two colors together creates it's like my skin but in a lip color so it's almost like a perfect nude like you don't have on any lipstick but you really do and I think that goes really well with like warm brown eyeshadow looks or really just any eye look but specifically that because it kind of brings out the tones in your skin this next lip is one of my all-time favorites I literally have had this in my collection for years it is the dose of colors cork liquid lipstick and I paired it with the lip bar lip liner in the shade straight living now cork Cork is like the most perfect like deep brown different kind of lip color like it's not your traditional brown it almost has a little bit of like that like a warm terracotta undertone to it it is so beautiful it's literally like my number one lipstick that I love to wear in the fall time of course you can wear it year-round but I just love 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 the shade it's just it, it goes so well with so many different looks and it's just a beautiful beautiful shade 
So I kind of wanted to briefly talk about the lip liners that I'm talking about in this video because I'm realizing all three of them you probably would think are similar shades but there are slight differences and I kind of decide on which one to use based on the kind of lip look that I'm going for. The Lip Bar Lip Pencil in Straight Living is actually the deepest one out of all three in the warm family I guess you could say. It's like a deep warm brown and it's more of a creamy formula. It's not like a stiff lip liner not in a bad way stiff lip pencils i like those as well but it does like smooth and glide on the lips really well but i like to use this when the lip color that i'm using is a little bit deeper as well as in the warm family so i want something that's deep and in the warm family as well to line my lips with and then we have a mac chestnut now this one when you're just watching it on the back of your hand it does seem like that it's in the warm brown family as well but with certain lip pencils it can go a bit on the cool toned end almost a little bit like a grayish deep brown not in a bad way i just choose to use this lip pencil with lip colors that i know doesn't pull in that warm cool tone grayish family love this though this is like my go-to i use this i would say about 85 to 90 percent of the time i'm using mac chestnuts and then lastly the kkw beauty lip liner in new three now this one is pretty similar to the lip bar when it comes to like that really creamy formula oh and I forgot to say that MAC chestnut is one of those stiff lip pencils so I like to use this when I really want to make sure the lip line is super crisp because of how like where you put this it stays it's just really nice for that so back to the KKW one it has the creamy formula like the lip bar one it's warm as well but it's a little less deep than the lip bar one so just a little bit lighter but still that deep brown lip pencil that I really like so yeah that's kind of just a run through of the three lip pencils that I'm talking about in this video so this next lip color has been in my stash for years as well almost to the point to where I'm pretty sure it's expired <laughs> but I still will use it probably shouldn't be but it's the black up I think it's their lip lacquers um, and it's in the shade 9 so it is like the most beautiful rich chocolate lip gloss it's a thick lip gloss so if you don't like thick lip glosses you might not like this one super pigmented and it is so beautiful it's like a creamy caramel deep chocolate lip color it is just so pretty it is so pretty honestly I don't wear it that much because I love it so much you know it's almost like that little trophy like I want to pull this out when it's important you know them kind of situations so I really really like this one whenever I run out of it I'm definitely going to buy it again I probably need to already it's 18 months shelf life I'm just looking at this so it's definitely expired so this next one is from CoverGirl and it's their melting pout vinyl vow lip color it's a gloss as well i paired this with the kkw lip pencil it's a really pretty nude shade um, for my skin tone and many other skin tones i really really like not only the color of it but the formula of it it's the smoothest lip gloss i've ever applied honestly it's almost like you want to keep applying it because of how soft it is it's not sticky at all it's almost like like a thick oil because I would say oil but oil is like will eventually rub in but this is like a super like creamy oil lip color so nice I really like the formula of it and the shade is perfect okay so these next two glosses you guys already know about these I'm sure but the Fenty Beauty gloss bombs I could not not talk about them because they are just a perfect lip gloss to just throw on or you can even mix them with some of the lip pencils I talked about the first one is the very first one that they launched which was Fenty glow it doesn't really look like there's much color to it when you apply it to the lips at least with my natural lip color it doesn't look like you have on a colored lip gloss so I really like that but it does have that slight tint of like a brownie nude to it so that when you apply it it just looks really pretty on the lips so I really like this and then I also like the shade fussy this one is more of a pinky nude really like this this is just like that cute slight baby doll lip color it's just really pretty both of these are just super easy to just throw on for a quick makeup look or like I said even for a full glam look they're just really pretty lip glosses okay so the next lip color 
color is kind of like an explanation that's added to it so it's the ultra blotted lip from ColourPop and sailor moon collection in the shade bunhead really love this shade but i also wanted to just say because this is limited edition it's mostly the formula of these lip colors are just spot on i really like how thin it is probably the thinnest lip color i've ever tried are their ultra blotted lips and you can build it to where it looks like a traditional lipstick but it's so lightweight like you don't know that you have on lip color i really like these for the formula so if you guys see a color that you like definitely recommend this formula and i wanted to make sure i said that in this video and this is a beautiful color as well i really really like this it's, but it's limited edition so hopefully it's still available okay you guys are not gonna believe your ears on the fact that i only have three favorite red lipsticks that i'm gonna be talking about you guys know how much i love reds but i had to stop my Myself at three because if I just went through and was like oh I like this oh I like this oh I like that then we'll be here for like three hours so I wanted to do my top three my number one favorite one that I just recently found that I love so much and then we're gonna do the one that's like super popping and just gorge then we're gonna do the OG always works trustworthy holy grail one <laughs> so the first one which is my favorite favorite right now it is from persona cosmetics it's in the shade holy grail you guys I feel you know like those certain lip colors that just make you feel pretty I feel pretty pretty in this lip color like it just gives me so much confidence when i put this on i just love the shade love the formula love how matte it dries down just love how smooth it is on the lips love the intensity of the pigments i love everything about this red lip and in the clip of me trying this on i did try it on with mac night moth lip pencil that is the lip pencil that i always use whenever i'm wearing a red if i could wear this lip color every single day I would this is the bomb I love it so much if you guys have a chance to get your hands on this or really any of these but specifically this and make sure you get it because it is so beautiful like love this lip color the next one is the one that I said that's popping and just beautiful and it is the Fenty Beauty Stunner lip paints in the shade uncensored I actually didn't try this one on with a lip pencil and the reason why I didn't is because this is the only only red that I've tried that doesn't mesh that beautifully with MAC Night Moth lip pencil. So whenever I wear this, I try to use a thin line of MAC Night Moth or just not at all. With that being said, I really don't wear this that often because I don't get to wear Night Moth with it and that's, you know, lip pencils are my security blanket. So yeah, beautiful lip shade and I love this lip color always be in my collection and like the packaging, like come on. Come on. And then the last one, this is the OG, triple OG <laughs> red lip that probably started my love for red lipsticks in general. And that is MAC Ruby Woo. Uh, a lot of people don't like the formula of this. I love the formula. I love how like hardcore matte it is. It's like you put it on, it stays all night. This is one of the lip colors that I wear when I'm headed out and I know that the night is gonna last until the AM. <laughs> this is like the party lipstick like the long night dancing all that this lipstick if i want to wear red at least this is the one that i go with just because once i put it on it stays i don't have to be in the mirror in the club touching up not with ruby woo and i of course paired it with mac night moth lip pencil just a really beautiful cherry red <sighs> it's just one of my favorites i could go on and on about red lips like red lips that's my favorite favorite lip color to wear but that's actually the end of my favorite lipsticks but I did want to talk about one more thing just before I let you guys go one more thing a pencil sharpener before I got this pencil sharpener I was like cracking my lip pencils and they never really got sharp but this one is like the best pencil sharpener I've ever used for my lip pencils I only use it for my lip pencils it just gets it really sharp I had it for years if you're needing a lip pencil or you're cracking your lip pencils like 
splitting them down the side that has happened to me with other ones then i definitely recommend you guys pick this up i wanted to make sure that i talked about this in this video just a little i guess lipstick lip liner tool that you guys definitely need so that is the end of my favorite lipstick slash lip liners i guess you could say i hope this video was helpful i had so much fun just talking about my favorite lipsticks because like lipsticks are so fun make sure that you subscribe before you leave and thumbs up this video and i promise i'll see you guys next time bye guys